one of the things we'd do after about three or four days at the beach house in Atlantic Beach is we'd go out to dinner. And the place to go was Tony's Sanitary Seafood. So since I'm kind of in charge on this one, I thought I'd come to a joint that I know that I shot Triple D at. It's called Outer Banks Brewing Station, and Chef Pock is going to hook me up. Wait till you see this place. So this is it, Outer Banks Brewing Station. They make their own beer, they have their own wind turbine that powers the joint, and the food, legit. Plus, this joint can handle the volume because the entire Price Clan is going to be knocking down the door. <laughs> chef Pock is a laid-back surfer chef twisting up Thai flavors with Southern Seafood Classics. He's cooking us up the shrimp kakalaki with a mango salsa. Gotta say that 10 times fast, kakalaki, kakalaki, kakalaki. So what is kakalaki? Beer batter fried shrimp. Beer batter fried shrimp, okay. So we're gonna start with our tempura batter. Whisking our beer, using our own house-made mulch beer. I should do it. And then we got our shrimp that's already been peeled. A little flour dredge? A little flour dredge. And what kind of oil are we running over here? Peanut oil. 350? Until it's GBD. Golden brown and delicious. GBD on OBX. Key here, though, is really cold batter going to the hot oil, really makes it puff up. Grab our shrimp out. Coleslaw, great. Coleslaw and our little house-made mango salsa. OK, one of your sauces. Yep. Give it a little dip. That'll be just perfect. House-made beer, crunchy tempura batter, and super fresh shrimp with the sauce you make, one down. Mm. Now, here's a little thing I want to ask you. I said that we used to go to this place called Tony's Sanitary Seafood. They do hush puppies at the Outer Banks Brewery, but I asked if it would be okay if I brought my own recipe from Tony's Sanitary Seafood in Moorhead City, and that's where my mammy and my gramps lived. And as soon as we walked in, they bring out hush puppies. And they were crazy, because I haven't really seen exactly that kind of hush puppy. Mm -hmm. So maybe you and I can do our little spin on it. I just thought it'd be a cool little thing. Show a little tribute to my mom and to my uh, Uncle Pete and Aunt Polly and Aunt Patty. So they don't know what's coming, but it's gonna be good. What's in it? So we got our... Pound of cornmeal? Pound of cornmeal. A Little bit of salt. Sugar, pinch of soda, one egg. Egg. Cup of buttermilk. There we go. And we'll try to see how that we'll consistency. See the consistency that consistency comes out of that. Before we add water to it. Yeah. We'll let that sit for a little bit. Yeah. You're gonna let that cornmeal absorb some of that. Now the thing is, chef, the way they came out, it wasn't a little hush puppy round like this. No. It was kind of long, like a kind of like fingerling potatoes. Exactly what it looked like. Want to give it a shot? Yeah. All right. The idea is to get them nice and crunchy on the outside and tender and soft on the inside. It's a southern appetizer. Yeah. Okay. I like the grit of the cornmeal. I think it's got the right shape, the right salt and the right sugar. If we can turn out that kind of a hush puppy, that should be close enough to what everybody should remember. And your family should be stuck about it. Yeah, you good with it? Yep. So we got the hush puppies, we got the kakalaki, but there's about seven or eight things on the menu I want my family to try. You cool with that? Yeah, definitely. Chef, you're great, man. Thanks for having us. Thanks. OK, good luck. We'll be back in a couple hours. Cool. <laughs> While Chef Fox cooking up a storm, I'll try and gather the troops. But it's like herding cats. The great Uncle Pete. Thanks to Mom and Dad, Betty and Henry, uh, the love they showed us. That family was first. When we had problems, forget the problems, bring the family back together. A little toast to Mom and Dad, yeah. Betty and Henry. Okay. In the tradition of the family reunion, when we go to Moorhead City, we have the actual recipe from. Sanitary Seafood in Moorhead City. We have the hush puppy. Yeah. 
I could have just sat there and ate hush puppies and drank wine all night. It doesn't get any better than this. You know, it's it's wonderful for a guy to realize his dream, bring the family together, and this is the way it was back in North Carolina in High Point with uh, with the Price parents, and it was just great. And this is a food tsunami. The food just keeps coming and coming. What about this? That's a range of this is a tsunami, but we got a full tsunami. You know, seeing all these kids, these it's are emotional great, have all this family together. Our great nephews and nieces, and we're like, oh my God, they're so beautiful. And this is what we created. We're, we're just blown away.